okay, so hormone therapy. So is that, is there anything else, the progesterone and the... Um, um, I take a bicalutamide every morning, which also is a Dr. Powers spin on it. A lot of people do spiro, 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 spiro something. Um, and uh, basically that's an androgen blocker. Bicalutamide is an androgen blocker. So I take that. That's If I have any testosterone in my system, it can't do anything. It's kind of my mm -hmm. layperson understanding of it. Like if I were to inject test right now, I don't know. I would just like pee it out or something. Like it wouldn't do anything because there's an androgen blocker going on. So right. that's also helps. That really just the way I look change pretty drastically. Mm -hmm. um, and, and feelings and other kinds. Of I mean, it helps to transition along. And that's one that I don't know if I'm going to stay on that because, uh, there's parts about testosterone I really miss a lot. You know what I mean? Like the, oh, there's good things about aggression, which mm -hmm. is what you get, you know, with problem solving. Sometimes aggression is needed to like, mm -hmm. like I got to go out there and get more money. Rawr, let's go do it in a healthy, ethical way. You know what I mean? But, right. um, so I kind of miss that. And then sex stuff, like the bicalutamide makes, made my, like made, killed my sex drive. First of all, when I, come clear stuff comes out like nothing it's like beep. it's like pre-cum comes out but it feels better than any orgasm i've ever had in my life and i could have multiple orgasms now. like when i come i'm not done i'm like lady coming you know what i mean but it's cool. but it also killed your sex drive so but it killed my sex drive so like on the rare occasion where i would have sex or jerk off i would be like wow this feels amazing but the actual drive to like do it wasn't there so and uh will that continue as long as you continue to take that drug i'm told and so we don't know other than dr powers there's no one out there like trying to tinker and figure shit out uh my doctor says you know that uh, he gave me a testosterone cream that i just put on my dick and balls uh once a week mm -hmm. that's supposed to bring the sex drive back and also bring back function to the wang um which this is like a, a few things to unwrap here. So when you're on an androgen blocker, if you have a penis, you, you no longer have erections overnight. Like if you're normal penis people have three erections every time they sleep, every REM cycle, they have an erection, just standard. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, morning wood, they wake up morning wood, right? Right. right. Um, androgen blocker makes that not happen. And then with no sex drive, I just wasn't getting hard, period, because I wasn't, didn't care. I didn't think about it. You know what I mean? If mm -hmm. you have a penis and you don't have erections, the spongy tissue inside the deck, the part that actually gets hard, it atrophies. It just stops. It's like, well, mm -hmm. we don't need to do anything. So long story short, this is common with most trans women. My dick shrank about half the size. And I was like, whoa, I don't like that. That's a fucking problem. You know what I mean? Like it's, for <laughs> porn? Come on. Like uh -huh. I'm, I like bottoming, but I also like want to lay it down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like what are we doing? Yeah. So that was pretty abrupt. That was like a month ago. I finally went to go jerk off as a hotel. And I was like, you know, I'm going to a little me time. Let's get a little crazy. And uh, yeah. and I went to get hard. And I was like, "Where? where's the rest of it? Like what the, what the fuck just happened? Where's my dick? What's this? this is like half. Ah! It was like traumatic. I would say. I, I, don't, I try not to use the word traumatic too much because people overuse it. But that shit was traumatic. Yeah. I was fucked up over that. So get on the thing with my doctor. I'm like, what the fuck? What is going on? And I think he did tell me that could happen. It's just so much information all at the same time. I just got mm -hmm. lost in the sauce. I didn't know. I was supposed to be using a penis vacuum pump and stretching my dick twice a day to keep that from happening, which is the only uh -huh. thing you can do in that situation. So solution, testosterone cream once a week, penis vacuum pump, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night, take Cialis every day to get some blood flowing down there. Uh -huh. Then after enough time of that, three weeks to three months, go to a urologist who can take out the spongy tissue, put in a pump, the, uh, the thing some performers have it's like a robo yeah. dick basically you press yeah. a button and it, mm -hmm. after all of that recover from that the idea is my dick will be way bigger than it was in the first place and it'll be i'll be like a cyborg woman with a giant wang that it's hit a button and it gets hard so cool we solved the problem i had to figure that out on my own 
I had to talk because my endocrinologist is a brilliant, brilliant person. He's not a penis doctor. He's, he's an endocrinologist. So I had to go mm -hmm. research like, okay, urologist, Las Vegas. There really wasn't a good one. There's a lot of them. But it, so, okay, urology papers, figure out who's the most published urologist and who's like well-respected. And there's like two, one in San Francisco, one in Miami. Set up consults with both of them. Told both of them the situation, their data, what they told me kind of synced up with each other, but there were some differences. So go back to both of them, go back to the endocrinologist with all the stuff, cross-reference everything, get on PubMed and NIH.org or gov or whatever, research all the papers that are written, figure out the solution, which was Cialis every day, vacuum pump in the morning, vacuum pump at night, replace it with a, uh, whatever it's called, the Titan machine, you know, but, but you know, get the robo deck. Um, no, that's why, why I'm writing a fucking book because I had to fucking figure that out. No one, I mean, you know, like there's no. Yeah, that kind of information isn't out there. So does that mean that you don't plan on getting bottom surgery? Um, eventually, so the thing is, if you get a robo dick, uh, they last, they're supposed to last on the paperwork. Like when you buy it, like if you buy a car, it comes with paperwork because um, it's a machine. Uh, they're supposed to last 15 years and something like 75,000 erections. Like that's what they warranty it under. But... Everybody's you different. You warranty on your robo dick? Yeah. And then uh, everybody's different. Use is different. Like if I'm like doing DPs and pile driver every day, which I don't plan on at all. But if I were to go that way, it would wear out quicker than 15 mm -hmm. years. So mm -hmm. good news is if a good urologist puts it in, there's not going to be much scar tissue. So the next, the replacement you get four or five years later, you can get even bigger ones. If the urologist left scar tissue and fucked it up, you're going to have a smaller one. So it's like, eh, a little risk there. Um, basically, I'm going to go lay it down with big cyborg laying as hard and as fun as I can for as long as I can. And then when it breaks, cool, vagina time. You know what I mean? Now I'll just switch it up okay. to vagina. And, but not, I'm lucky I, I can do that because resources, money, to, you know, take time off. Um, a lot of me would lo would way prefer to have a vagina. I just, I kind of want to have some good years of being a MILF with a giant wing. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm going to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, you can, so why, why not? not? Right. Yeah. That's the idea. So. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, yeah. it just it sounds like you, you get to experience all of these different, different things with both genders that none of, most of us, you know just have no idea. This is just I'm so, excited about it. Yeah. It's so interesting. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.